Over the next couple of videos, we're going to talk about how to take one polynomial and multiply it to another polynomial. Now, the way most instructors approach this topic is they'll actually break it up into different cases. And I think that's the best approach. It's, it's really a good approach. And we're going to do the same. So we're going to start actually with just a monomial times a polynomial. And we'll look at some of the other cases in, in some of the later videos. So if you have a monomial, which is just a single term, times some generic polynomial, what we're going to do is distribute that monomial to every term in the polynomial. For example, if you had negative 3x times the polynomial x squared minus 7x plus 5, what we're going to do is we're going to take the minus 3x, the monomial, and distribute it to every term in the polynomial. And just because this is exactly what we would do if it was a constant times a polynomial, we'd use the distributive property. And we can do the same thing even if we have a, a monomial. So like this one, for example, um, we'd get negative 3x times x squared, which would be negative 3x to the third, because x times x squared, you add the exponents, you get x to the third. And then we'd have negative 3x times negative 7x. A negative times a negative makes a positive. The constants, 3 times 7, would give us 21. And x times x would give us x squared. And for the last term, we'd have negative 3x times positive 5. That would give us negative 15x. So we'd have minus 15x. And we're done. There's nothing else to do. Uh, I will say if you, for whatever reason, have any like terms left over after you distribute or whatnot, uh, you can always combine like terms or clean it up however you need to. But basically the, the meat of the problem is distributing the monomial just using the distributive property basically. All right, let's wrap up this video with one more example. Let's say we had one half y to the third as our monomial times 4y to the fifth minus 7y squared plus 8. So we would be able to recognize this immediately without somebody telling us because we can see what we're multiplying. The first term is a monomial and the second item is a polynomial. So we'll know that we're supposed to use the distributive property even if no one told us. So we're going to distribute 1 half y cubed to the first, the second, and the third term in the polynomial. So here we go. 1 half y cubed times 4y to the fifth. Well, 1 half times 4 would give you 2. And y to the third times y to the fifth would give us y to the eighth. Because again, we add the exponents if we have like bases. And then we'll take 1 half y cubed times negative 7y squared. This will be a minus. 1 half times 7 would be 7 halves. And that's OK. You can have fractions as your coefficients. You can actually have any real value for the for the coefficient. And y to the third times y to the second would be y to the fifth. And then lastly, 1 half y cubed times 8, or positive 8. 1 half times 8 would give us 4. And then we'd have just the y cubed because there are not any additional y's or anything like that. So that would be our final answer here. So basically, monomial times a polynomial, you just use the distributive property to distribute this guy through all the terms.